Costello, we bought this gas station four days ago. Are you listening to me? Yeah, I'm listening. Go ahead. We bought this gas station four, <laughs> four days ago. And you you promised to do half the work. Now, uh, you've got uh, Lana Turner's car up there on the grease rack. Uh, why aren't you greasing it? Because Lana, Tur- Lana Turner's car makes me awfully nervous. Oh, how could Lana Turner's car make you nervous? Well, this is the first time I've ever been close to her chassis. Right. <laughs> Look, they'll be after her car in a minute. Now, get it off that hydraulic hoist. And take it easy, please. Okay, okay. All right. (laughs) Anybody want to buy a squatty Chevrolet? (laughs) You idiot. Now, look what you've done. Do you realize that Miss Turner can sue you for damages? Sue me for damages? How how much more damage does she want? No. Look at the car. She can press a suit against you. Oh, she can press a suit against me any time. Oh. <laughs> you please talk sense. We've got to lift that car up and get it out of there. Uh, where are the jacks? Where are the jacks? Yes, where are the jacks? I quit playing jacks. I couldn't get past my voice. Oh, oh. <laughs> so you play jacks. I suppose you play tiddly winks too, don't you? Yes, I do. But I don't want to play no tiddly winks with you. Why not? Because you play with loaded tiddly. <laughs> All the kids told me. What kid? All the kids on Ticket Cabin Street. Now listen, Costello. Uh, Costello. Uh, Costello. Costello. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm getting fed up with this. You haven't done a lick of work around here in four days. Oh, no. Only this morning I cleaned out that little pantry over there. Pantry? Yeah. That's not a pantry. Now he tells me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. Will you listen to me, please? What would they be doing with a pantry and a filling station? Well, I thought maybe that's where they kept the traffic jam. No, no. <laughs> Hello. Abbott and Costello service station. Do you have an oversized head gasket? Yes, I have. How do you get your hat on? <laughs> <laughs> was a very funny joke. I'll pull it on Abbott. Hey, Abbott, do you have an oversized head gasket? No, but I have a new pair of cast iron fender pants. Now, what am I going to do with the hat? <laughs> now, there you go again. No wonder people don't come into our filling station. If a customer drove in here right now, you wouldn't know what to do. Yes, I would. Yeah, all right. Suppose the man asked for Ethel. Well, what would you tell him? I'd tell him it was a day off. Uh, <laughs> no, you'd, you'd, you'd put Ethel in the car. I put her in his car. I don't even know that girl. Oh, Ethel is tanked in front of the gas station. Oh, you want me to sober her up? No. Please. You mean the kid's got a little bun on? No, 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 nothing of the kind. Listen She's a little me. bit tipsy. Will you listen to me, please? <laughs> we got a drunken girl in front of the nothing gas station. Nothing of the kind. I'm not talking about that. Look, if a man has a high-speed motor, he wants Ethelty. He wants what? Ethelty. That's a new one on me, brother. He wants Ethelty. And Ethel is two kinds, Ethelty or Ethelty. One... Huh? He could give him ethylene. That's the one I better get to get the laugh. All right, well, get it that way. Get it the way you want. Go ahead. If, if he wants me to put ethylene on a diet, okay. Now, look, look, look. What would you do if a man drove into our gas station and his motor not? I open the door and let it in. No. Don't you understand? Don't you understand? He has a mist in his motor. Okay, she can come in, too. Now, please, just a minute, will you please? The man's motor is missing. Oh, what are you looking at me for? I didn't take it. All right, I have to. I do go around taking motors, you know. There's other ways of making a buck. All right, I know that. Just forget about it. Look, what, wait a minute. What would you do if a man drove up with a flat tire? I would treat her just like any other lady. No. <laughs> you, you don't understand. And self-service with me. I understand that. I mean a puncture, you nip with a puncture. Do you know what a puncture is? Oh, yeah. A puncture is a hissing sound. Followed by naughty words. Right. <laughs> of all the dopes I ever met, that settles it. Take that uniform off and get out of here. Right here and now, I am going to sever my relations with you. What? Well, yes. While you're at it, I got a knuckle I wish you'd cut up, too. That, He's no. the meanest man that I ever... You better never... stop me. He's the meanest well, man you I never ever... mind that. Listen to me. Okay. I mean you're through. Fire. Now get out of here. Go ahead. I mean I'm washed up. You heard me. You're firing me, Abbott. You are fired. Give me another chance. No, never. We're through. Oh, Pilgrim. Pilgrim? 
Pilgrim. Pilgrim what? Just pilgrims. You stop my progress. What? Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. I'll give you another chance. Now, get in that car there and drive it over to the uh, wash rack. It won't start. I tried it. No, what do you mean it won't start? All you have to do is choke your motor. Do what? I said choke your motor. Abbott, do you realize what you're saying? Well, certainly. Choke my motor? That's all you have to do. Do I look like a boy that would choke his own motor? Listen, I don't think you even know where your motor is. Sure I do. She's home with my photo. Your photo? <laughs> your photo? Yeah, just take a care of my little broder and soda. Oh, stop that selling this. I, I don't think you ever had a car. Oh, surely I got a car, Rabbit. Only I can't think of the name of it, that's all. And all I know is that it ends with an act. Nice. Just name my car. It ends is with an act. Is it a Pontiac? No. Cadillac? No. Now I remember, it's a maniac. Maniac? Mm -hmm. Every time I drive down the street, everybody says, there goes a maniac. <laughs> you, mean that old... you mean that old broken down jalopy of yours? Do you call that thing a car? What do you mean, broken down jalopy of it? My car's good enough for the army. A big general wants to borrow it. A general wants to borrow your car? I don't believe it. Oh, yeah, here's a note. I got a note right here from him. Look what it says. We'll be around to your house in the morning to pick up your car. Signed, General Finance. Costello, hey, Costello, wait on that girl that just drove in. Hurry up. Okay, what'll be, lady? I'm on my way to the movie studio. I'm working in a picture out at Om Giong. Om Giong? Yes, are you acquainted with any of the actors at Om Giong? No, but I know the janitor at Republic. <laughs> That's right near Universal. <laughs> I'm so thrilled. I'm appearing in a new picture. It's all about the African jungle. The African jungles? <laughs> oh, Abby, you know what the jungles are. That's the home of the Jirif and the Tiger. <laughs> That's where the Mount Kays... The Mount Kays? The Mount Kays eat the... <laughs> yes, in one scene I'm surrounded by savage crocodiles. Crocodiles? <laughs> yes. Have you ever been frightened by a crocodile? No, but I'm, I've been chased by a skunk. <laughs> Young man, are you trying to mock me? No, I like you a lot. I could go for you. Couldn't you go for me? Absolutely. And here I go. Hey, what was the matter with her? I guess I made her more. Hey, Costello, is there another car driving in? Hurry up. See what they want. Hey, buddy. Huh? Give me in. What do you mean? Shh, not so loud. Yes? Come closer. Yes, sir. How would you like to have a bunch of tires you could sell without priority? I got a carload of hot tires I could let you have cheap. What? How dare you try to sell me tires without a priority? You are nothing but a crook, a chisel, and a rat. I have a good notion to report you to the FBI. I am from the FBI. Just checking. <laughs> Must be using cheap gas. <laughs> Uh-oh, Costello. Here comes your girlfriend. Lean against her. Walked 
out on me, too. Everybody's getting hey, this, mad at me. This is certainly a busy day. Hey, another car just pulled up to the uh, grease rack. Hey, bud. Uh, why, it's Ken Niles and Mrs. Niles is with him. Hello, Mrs. Niles. Hello, Travis. Came over to try your new station. My, I see you have a nice stack of tires there. Oh, my mistake. That's Mr. Costello. <laughs> Costello, don't you start any fights with my wife. You keep all of this, Kenneth. I wear the pants in our family. Gee, I thought you said I could wear them tonight. <laughs> well, well Miss, Mrs. Niles, what can we do for you? I want to leave my car here to be greased. I'll pick it up in the morning. Uh, come on, Kenneth. I want to get home. You know, I just had my hair washed. Gee, your hair looks lovely. No kidding. I could tell you just had a wash. Oh, you could? Yeah, the laundry tag is still tied to your bangs. <laughs> Oh, dare you. How dare you insinuate 
way that I drink. A bottle has never touched my lips. Oh, a cork sniffer. A cork. <laughs> Insulting a police officer, and there's witnesses, too, huh? Who are these two people in the back seat? Uh, that's Mr. and Mrs. Ken Nile. Oh, indeed. And which one is Mrs. Nile? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Officer Mullenhead. I don't go for that kind of remark. Which one is Mrs. Nile? These people are friends of mine. I'm taking them for a ride in my car. Hey, Evan, how do you like your guy? Asking me which one is Mrs. Nile. Good for you, Costello. You keep out of this, Ken. <laughs> so that's your attitude. Well, I'll beat you. Oh, this man wrecked my car, and now he's trying to palm off this old pile of junk on me. Oh, he is, is he? Trying to swindle a woman. Costello, you're going to jail. Uh, you are, Costello. You've got yourself into it again. Well, what's the matter with you? I guess I'm just a failure. I'm the kind of person my mother don't want me to associate with. I'm just the onion. I'm the hamburger of life. I'm just a piece of flotsam going somewhere to get some. <laughs> Are you going to get her? I'll buy a brand new Ford. What's the matter with a Chevrolet? Nothing. Let everybody buy Chevrolets. Just right? Chevrolets, huh? They shouldn't buy any other car, huh? Let them buy Buicks, Cadillacs, Pontiacs, Oldsmobile, Dodgers, Studebakers, Nashes, Packers, Hudson. Sure. What do you care if Chrysler stars? I don't want Chrysler to starve. Let them sell four million hundred automobiles. Oh, now you want to jam the highway so my wife will have to drive three miles an hour, huh? Look, let it drive 30 miles, 50, 70, 80 miles an hour. How do you care. like this guy? My wife is cockeyed. He wants her to drive 80 miles an hour. <laughs> All right. Walk down the street, have the sailors whistling at her. No, no, I don't want the sailors to whistle at her. Mm, now you don't want the sailors to have any fun, huh? <laughs> Let the sailors have fun. Go on, I know what you're thinking. Go on, say it. My wife kisses every sailor in town. Your wife don't kiss every sailor in town. Oh, you know the ones she kisses, but you won't tell, huh? <laughs> Anybody ever 